hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja moin Leute ne? und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einem weiteren Part von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, beim letzten Mal haben wir Emblem Soren in den Hintern getreten und heute ist das nächste Emblem dran. Ich weiß noch nicht, welches genau das sein wird. Ich habe vage Vermutungen, wer wo ist. In der Höhe des Berserkers vermute ich den guten alten Hector. In äh, der Untergrundpassage vermute ich Camilla. Und im Altar des Schicksals würde ich tatsächlich äh, äh, hier Krom und Darain vermuten. Das sind nur Vermutungen. Ich würde auch mit hier oben anfangen. Weil dann kann ich äh, von dort aus einfach äh, so durchwandern. Nebenbei, ich werde wahrscheinlich nicht alle Emblemgespräche mehr äh, im Verlauf dieses Projekts mit durchbekommen. Ich versuche maximal alles durchzubekommen, was geht. Aber ich habe durchgerechnet, wie viele Bandfragmente ich bräuchte, um die alle durchzuprügeln. Allein bei einem Charakter, um alle Bänder durchzubekommen, zumindest zum jetzigen Standpunkt, bräuchte ich schon allein 41.400 Bandfragmente. Und um alle durchzuhauen, Edelgard habe ich übrigens das einzige bei einem zu diesem Zeitpunkt fertig. Abgesehen bei mir, aber bei mir werde ich einfach in der Schlacht jetzt Edelgard nutzen. Ich bräuchte 248.400, um alle Gespräche durchzubringen. Und ich meine damit wirklich bis zum Maximum. Ich habe gerade momentan 11.000. Also ich versuche dem auch ein bisschen entgegenzukommen, indem ich äh, bei den DSC-Charakteren ab sofort safe die Embleme nutze und versuche sie auch wirklich jedes Mal äh, durchzuprügeln. Aber ich kann nichts versprechen. Ich versuche, wie gesagt, alle Gespräche durchzubringen. Was ich auf jeden Fall schaffe, ist äh, hier durch die Enzyklopädie, kann man das ja auch gut sehen, äh, von denen hier die Gespräche durchzubringen. Äh, von den DSC-Charakteren. Das werde ich auf jeden Fall noch schaffen. Auch wenn ihr da ein bisschen länger was an Gesprächen habt. Und wo wir schon hier lange beim Thema Gespräche sind, ihr dürft euch jetzt ein paar Gespräche antun. Über mir ist ein Zeitstempel. Wenn ihr die überspringen wollt, die werden ab äh, dem DSC wahrscheinlich ein bisschen länger geworden sein. Weil ich kam zu diesem Zeitpunkt auch noch nicht dazu, das zu schneiden. Und ja, ich wünsche euch dann jetzt äh, viel Spaß erstmal mit den Gesprächen. Wir sehen uns dann gleich in der Schlacht wieder beim Altar des Schicksals. Celestia, you call the Four Winds your family. What do you mean by that? Family was never really a good word for me. I had imagined it was the same for the rest of us. You'd be right. Each of us suffered difficult losses before we met. I lost the Mage Dragons. You lost your home. Madeline, her parents, and Mavier, his master. I only heard Mavier mention it once. He just said he regretted that he couldn't protect her. He said she died too soon because of him. All in some pointless fight. We're all burdened with sorrows. Having a place to return to is what eases these burdens. None of us had something like that. I think that's why Mavier formed the Four Winds. I suppose it makes sense. But isn't that different from a family? I would have agreed at first. The Four Winds were friends and allies, not family. After we spent time together, laughing and talking, I realized we were filling those voids. The four of us have supported each other in a way others couldn't. It's something that can only be done by those closer than friends, by people you deeply trust. That does sound like a family. That's what I believe. It's why we must look out for each other. The Four Winds are family. If one of us is lost, the rest still need to protect what we have, even to the very last. And with you being a mage dragon, chances are pretty good that'll end up being you. What? Oh, nothing. I suppose I should ask if we're calling ourselves a family, who has what role? I'm the mom. Mavier's the older brother, you are the younger, and Madeline's the little sister. <laughs> a perfect match! Although, why am I the little brother? And wait, where's the dad? Oh, would you prefer to be the father? 
Not likely. And shouldn't you be more like an older sister than a mother? You don't look old enough. Aren't you the charmer? <laughs> but no, I love you all the way a mother would. That's why you can act a little spoiled around me. Oh, come now, don't try to hide it. <laughs> See how we joke with each other? Just like a family, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, it's kind of a relief to hear you vocalize it. Now and forever. The Four Winds will be a family. A safe place we can always return to. Your hair could use some attention, Lady Vale. Come, let me fix it for you. Don't worry, I've been practicing. Then I'm alright with you doing it. Thank you. Oh, are you chilly? I'll go get a blanket before I attend to your hair. Mage dragons have a high body temperature, right? You could warm my hands in yours. Oh, well, are you sure? I don't want you to be frightened. You're my friend. What's there to be afraid of? Tell me something. Why are you being so nice to me? Well, it's kind of a long story. I don't mind. This time it can be my turn to listen. In my world, the Four Winds was started by a man named Mavir. Mavir? So he was an admirable person in your world too? Very much so. He was my hero and friend to the last. Someone I looked up to. I heard that he had a master. And that master's name was Lady Vale. Really? Yes, she had the same name as you. Mavir had sworn to protect her no matter what. But it was an oath he was unable to keep. He said she died in a trifling battle. He always regretted the fact that he couldn't protect her. That's why I was so surprised to see you in this world. To know that you're alive. If it was you he wanted to protect, then I will take on that role as your protector now. That's why I wanted so badly to attend to you. You've been so nice. Even though I've been so cold to you. No, you're very kind. Even now, patiently listening to my story like this. Mavir always talked about how kind his Lady Vale was. Just like you. I'm glad you told me that story. It's miraculous that we met here. Though our worlds are different, we're connected somehow. I believe so. There must be some power at work bringing us together like this. Celestia, the truth is, I do want to be friends with you. Could you maybe stay a little longer today? I'd be delighted to. I'll stay by your side not just a little longer, but for as long as you need me. I was hoping we could reminisce, Madeline. You and Mavir met in your hometown, is that right? Yes. I had just lost my parents and was trying to protect my town from the corrupted. One day, a huge horde, the biggest I'd ever seen, descended on the town. They surrounded us. There were fires, people dying in the streets. I thought I was doomed. Then, out of nowhere, a knight appeared. And that was Mavir. Since he bore the armor and banner of the Fell Dragon's forces, I thought him an enemy. But he cut down all the corrupted around me, every last one. And when I looked into his eyes, I knew with certainty that he was on my side. And so you were saved. Then you traveled together to where I was. <sighs> you lost your parents, your hometown. I was worried by how depressed you were back then. Yes, it's embarrassing to think on now. Even my memory of going to Lethos is fuzzy. If not for dear Mavir, I would have surely died en route. He saved my life many times. But you carried on. You're so strong now. It's like you're a different person. I have my mentors to thank. Mavir, most of all. He taught me many skills. Having taken me in, he must have felt a duty to teach me. We train together often. And I can't even count how many times he protected me from danger. I get the temple. I know. I only wish I could repay him for all the ways he helped me. You realize you gave Mavir something too. Something immeasurable. 
He was always telling me how happy he was to have found you. Happy? He said that? He really did. You can feel good knowing you brought him happiness. You supported him, too. He watched you grow and learn with the proud, loving eyes of a father. Oh. <laughs> it seems we've circled back to the father-daughter talk. Still, I'm honored by his words. Thank you for sharing them with me. I believe Mavier is still watching over you, even now. In that case, I'll have to redouble my efforts to become a knight worthy of his respect. I'm going to go train. But let's talk about you next time, all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this ought to be perfect. It's exactly as I envisioned it. What are you looking at? You seem so excited. Is this some sort of new training? Ah! Oh, Gregory! Practicing your stealth approach, I take it. Good technique. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, what is that? A pile of dust? Excuse me? It's a sheep plushie. I've never made a toy before, so I suppose it's not much good. Oh, a stuffed toy. I, I think I see it now. Yeah, it looks great. So, um, is it a gift for someone? Well, I heard you like things that are soft and cuddly. Wait, it's for me? That was the idea, yes. But perhaps I'll keep this little one for myself. A dust bunny isn't a very becoming gift from a knight. I'll just give it a home on my bed. Gimme, it's perfect, Madeline. I'd love to have it, please. I I'm sorry I insulted it at first. This sheep is truly all I ever wanted. All right, all right. Goodness. Here, take it. Oh, thank you. This is amazing. It's so soft and fluffy. I've never been this happy before. But why did you make it for me? I didn't do anything to deserve it. Because you said you always wanted stuffed animals when you were little. Huh? Obviously, I can't go back in time and give this gift to little Gregory. But I can at least show some love to the Gregory standing in front of me. Your companions in the Four Winds, we love you. As do your friends here. You are loved. Even if that love came a little later than it should have. I wanted to express that somehow. So, I made you a gift. I... I don't know what to say. I had thought I was jealous of everyone else for growing up with loving families. But even if my parents didn't love me, I have friends who do. And who show that love. Exactly. And that dust bunny you've got proves it. This is no mere dust bunny. This is the cutest fluffy sheep to ever floof. I appreciate this so much. I can feel my younger self smiling. Thank you, Madeline. I'll always treasure this. I'd love to know what you like as well. I want to repay this heartfelt gift with my own. <laughs> I can't wait. I had my doubts at first, but I'd say we make a pretty good team. You have done well. What? A compliment? Did you actually just say I did well? Too well. What is your aim in fighting alongside me? What are you trying to achieve? Do you recall nothing of how I played you for a fool? The life that was lost because of it? Of course I remember. Surely you are harboring resentment. Or fear, at the very least, that I may turn on you again. Oh, believe me. I used to resent and hate you with all my heart. Still do, if I'm being honest. But that anger? It's not directed entirely toward you. What is that supposed to mean? Well, I never realized you had a secret. I didn't even realize how much you were suffering. I'm more angry at myself for being so useless. I wasn't able to help you. To... to rescue you. Is that so? That's why I'm trying so hard to understand you in this world. Huh. You truly believe you can fathom my mind? Maybe. Maybe not. But even if I fail in that and you betray us again, I won't fail in ending you. 
So it doesn't matter how cruel or nice you are to me. I don't plan on leaving your side. So open about your plans. Why should I keep my would-be murderer close to my side? Because the Divine Dragon wants me to be your chaperone? Seems like a good enough reason. Oh, very well. Serve me with your backstabbing blade near to hand if that is what pleases you. So long as you are aware that the only back such a blade will find is your own. <laughs> are you truly amused by your own weakness? Oh, I was just thinking that, based on what I've seen, we don't need to worry too much. The way you feel obligated and try to push me away, your inability to honestly express thanks. You try to hide it, but I see you. And I doubt you'll betray us again. Probably. No. Definitely. Comfort yourself with whatever delusions you prefer. None of this matters to me. Is that so? Then why are your ears turning red? I beg your pardon? <laughs> I think I like you better when you're this easy to read. I won't be fooled by the mask you try to wear. Not when I've finally seen your true face. Hello again, Lady Nell. Little Prince, I have been observing you carefully since last we spoke, and I have determined, based on what I have observed, that you will make a fine king indeed. I am honored. You possess great strength, both of body and mind. Your will and resolve are indomitable, and you have the ability to remain objective, even when placed under terrible stress. That is my assessment. Your kingdom will prosper during your reign. That's very high praise. Thank you. No thanks are needed. I merely spoke my mind. Then let me speak my mind as well. Your kindness, wisdom, and tenacity are humbling. I've seen you throw yourself against strong foes and impossible odds to keep your friends safe. I am a dragon. Our superior durability allows us such indulgences. Not even the toughest dragon would step up to protect others without kindness of heart. I suppose. I've seen your compassion off the battlefield as well. You cherish all life. You even once replanted a roadside flower so it wouldn't be trampled. I see that you have studied me quite closely. It was only fair to return the favor. It's not easy being a fell dragon from another world, but somehow you make it look easy. Thank you for the compliment. I did not realize you had been assessing me. You are even more interesting than I expected. Perhaps more observation is in order. You may possess more traits that I have yet to discover. <laughs> and you might retract some of that praise once you've dug up all my flaws. Until then, I'm happy to spend more time with you. I think we'll make great friends. Look at these flower petals here. How strange. It's almost like Sidal's fortune said. Under a full moon. Gather petals glowing gold. Then comes true a wish so bold. The flowers you have there. I see you remembered my fortune. But the flower petals are white, not gold. Are they? Hold them up to the full moon. Hmm. Like this? <gasps> oh, how lovely. They're shining gold. Those flowers only bloom on the night of a full moon. The petals appear white but then shimmer gold when the moonlight strikes them. They're so pretty. Their fragrance is thought to have a soothing power as well. I'd be happy if they could ease your pain even a little, Lady Vale. <sighs> Thank you, Cedal. You went to a lot of trouble to do this for me. I don't know what you mean. Don't be silly. You put together this whole beautiful act just for me, didn't you? I assure you I had nothing to do with it. Also, a fortune teller never reveals his secrets. Oh, please. Now, I've repaid the favor. What favor? Thanks to your kind gesture before, my fortune telling skills are back and as sharp as ever. That's wonderful. I'm very happy for you. You know, Cedal, the moon is pretty tonight, isn't it? It is. Very. I don't think I'll ever forget how beautiful it looks tonight. No, I don't think I will either. 
Under a full moon, gather petals glowing gold. Then comes true, a wish so bold. My wish is to bring peace and happiness to this world. And also, I wish for your happiness too, Sido. Sorry, did you say something? No. I'm sure you're just hearing the sound of flowers blooming in the night. There we go. Looks like everything is in its place. Well then, let's get started. We have been eating together a lot more often lately, haven't we? I'm just happy that you're taking the time to sit down for meals. Well, not counting the times you get too distracted by other things. It is kind of you to show such concern. Thanks to you, I've been eating some delicious foods. Mealtime is a lot more fun since we started eating together. And it's not just meals, either. Everything I do by your side is more fun, Divine One. It makes me happy to hear you say that. I was worried you might find things difficult here, since this world is unfamiliar to you. Not at all. I enjoy being here, especially when I see you smiling. I will help you face any foe if it gives you more reasons to smile. I fear no enemy. I'll defeat them all! <laughs> That's reassuring, Celestia. I feel the same way. It's inspiring to be around you. You help me feel so much stronger. A lot has happened since I arrived here, but I'm glad I came to this world. Please, allow me to go on standing by your side. Rely on me. Of course. I feel like I can count on you. Oh, Divine One. <laughs> you have some sauce on you. Hold still. <laughs> there. That's better. You must have been quite hungry to get sauce on yourself like that. <laughs> How cute. Hey, I appreciate the thought, but I'm not a child. How embarrassing. Ugh. It was the middle of the day when we left. Now it's completely dark. Today was quite the adventure, wasn't it? I never would have expected that a simple shopping trip could become such an ordeal. First we found that lost child. Then it turned out they were looking for their cat. And then we managed to get lost in the woods when we went searching for the cat. I'm sorry. I had no idea those woods were so deep. It didn't help that the cat was hiding on the other side of the forest. Not that I can blame it. Running and hiding is a great survival tactic. At least everyone was reunited after all that. It's nice to have a happy ending. Thank you for coming with me. I know it went a lot later than we expected. No need to thank me. Though we could have just run away from the whole mess. But... It's not like I could have abandoned you to do it all on your own. Did you say something? Huh? B nothing. Anyway, you should probably hurry off to bed. I'm sure all your worried friends will give you quite the lecture in the morning. <laughs> Perhaps I should prepare myself for it before going to sleep then. Good night, Gregory. I promise to make this up to you another day. That would be fun. But I don't want you to worry yourself over it. Sleep well. <sighs> Spending all your energy helping others. Just like the late divine dragon from my world. <laughs> I suppose I didn't need to be on my guard around you after all. Soren, do you have a moment to talk? I'd like to learn more about the world you're from. I can spare you a moment, but no more. Your battle strategy is always so calm and logical. I should probably try to think that way. We each have things we are and are not suited for. Calm rationale may not be yours. You seem so dauntless in battle. I wish I was like you. I always get nervous at the start. A strategist can't afford the luxury of nerves. Neither can someone in your position. You're right. I've got to do my best to stay confident no matter the unknowns. Focus on one decision at a time. 
Hindsight will reveal whether you made the right choices. Once again, a pleasure to meet you. I remember feeling a kinship with you. Why would that be? Who knows? It may be all in your head. Your power is still great, Soren. Though I am a mage dragon, my magic is weak. Ugh, I envy you. Is that so? I never asked for this power. Soren, about our earlier conversation. I barely know you, but I still coveted your power. I'm sorry. What I said was insensitive. It's fine. I take back what I said about not wanting it. This power helped me find a place in the world. Without it, that wish would not have come true. You're a strategist, yeah? Please think of me as backup. Like an absolute last resort backup. If your intent is to run, I'll simply deploy you somewhere that you can't escape. Why are you always trying to run away? Do you have some sort of outstanding debts? What? I'm not running from any debts. Why would you think that? Would you like to go for a walk or something? Surely even you need a change of pace. I'm quite all right. Oh, well, if there's ever anything bothering you, just let me know. I'm here for you. You and I could not be more different. Please, spare me your unwanted concern. Sir Soren, do you have time now? I would like to request a training bout. Why go out of your way to ask me? You must have plenty of other training partners. Your attacks are too straightforward. It's like you're telling the opponent to dodge. You're really watching me carefully. You always seem so cold and distant. This is a surprise. You may want to give up on becoming a knight for a time. Huh? D does that... Does that mean you don't think I can become a knight? You remind me of someone who was unfit for that job. You don't need to force yourself. I appreciate your counsel, but I will not push myself beyond my limits. You journeyed across worlds for the sake of strangers? You are a peculiar one. You are as severe as ever, Emblem Soren. I came here for the sake of the Divine Dragon. It seems I have been rude to the Divine Dragon again, despite my best efforts. How is it you manage to keep repeating the same mistake? If you ever want to be close with the Divine Dragon, consider your words more carefully. I am well aware that I should. And yet I continue to fail at it, despite my awareness. I suppose you do not understand how it feels. For your words not to match your intent. I don't. But if you want my opinion, you should just be honest and direct about your emotions. I had thought Nell and I would be done with all this by now. And yet, here we are. Indeed. I'm sure your presence will continue to improve this army's results. You always seem to be alone. I suppose that is a consequence of your brusque demeanor. If you have attention to spare for others, why not focus it on your friends?
Why do you stare at me? Do you crave my attention so desperately? I knew someone like you. With black wings. He wasn't the type I'd want as a friend either. How rare for you to speak of yourself. You have managed to pique my curiosity. Do go on. It's nothing. Forget it. This temple seems promising. Let's keep our eyes peeled for another emblem bracelet. Ah! I found it! Look! It's the bracelet of the Shepherd Exult. Interesting. There's an unusual presence inside this one. Let's try the invocation. Awaken! Emblem of Bonds! Awake at last. I feel like I slept for quite a while. Guess I can't tease you for those long naps of yours anymore. Um, hello. Ah, sorry. We're just getting our bearings. Nice to meet you. I'm Krom. He's the leader of the Shepherds. I'm Robin, his tactician. If you're the one who awakened us, then you have my thanks. Yes, I'm the Divine Dragon. So, you're two emblems in the same bracelet? Right, but it's not that surprising. Robin and I are bound by ties stronger than fate. What do you mean? I swore an oath to Krom when we lost his older sister, the Exalt Emerin. Neither of us was half the person she was, but together we became something more. From then on, we supported each other through thick and thin, no matter the danger. My sister fought for a peaceful world. Together, Robin and I made that a reality. That's a wonderful story. We are also fighting to make our world a peaceful one. Would the two of you be willing to put your efforts toward another happy ending? Of course, we'd be honored. Honored? But I haven't even told you what's happening. I knew I could trust you the moment I looked into your eyes. Krom follows his instincts. He trusted me right away too, even though I'd lost my memory. Well, I appreciate the confidence. Before we join you, though, I think we'll have to see for ourselves what you're made of. Agreed. It takes strength and fortitude to win a fight. We should make sure you have both. Don't worry, it's not a formal test. Just show us what you've got and trust it'll be enough. I understand. Let's get started. So, Leute, die Truppen sind angepasst schon mal. Äh, wir haben zwei Bosse vor uns. Eine Magier und einen Krieger. Beide haben ein Donnerschwert bei sich. Es würde so viel mehr passen, wäre es der weibliche da rein. Ich denke mal, um diese Barriere, die sie da gerade um sich herum haben, zu zerstören, müssen wir diese Kristalle zerstören, die sich hier auf der Map befinden. Truppen sind wie gesagt schon angepasst. Ich habe auch mal Emblem Lucina dabei. Vielleicht kann ich diesmal meine Theorie prüfen. Und ja, ich habe natürlich auch die Armringe auf jeden Fall verteilt. Ich bin die einzige Person, die mit Edelgard noch Level sammeln muss. Aber ansonsten hat jeder von den DSC-Charakteren, zumindest die meisten von ihnen, einen von den DSC-Emblemen bei sich. Und ich würde sagen, let's go. No need to hesitate. Come at us with everything you've got. Let's see how you handle our strategy. Gucken, ob ich den Strategen besiegen kann. We'll have to figure out how to break through it. Ja, mit allerhöchster Wahrscheinlichkeit halt die Kristalle. Das ist das Einzige, was optisch heraussticht. <lacht> das finde ich nett, dass, äh, was man machen muss, sticht echt heraus. Let's try smashing one and see what happens. Ja, einer ist direkt vor unserer Nase. Ich habe hier auch wieder das Gefühl, das könnte eine kurze Schlacht werden. Ich werde auf jeden Fall mich aufteilen müssen, um beide Kristalle kaputt zu machen. Wie viel halten die denn überhaupt aus? Und nicht sonderlich viel. Hm. The barrier is still standing. 
It looks like we'll need to destroy all the crystals to get through. Ja, ich kann mich ja wie gesagt aufteilen. Dann passt das schon. So, mit äh, Celestia und Suchen habe ich ja äh, das Gewitter zur Verfügung. Nämlich kann ich die mit den langen Bögen da hinten schon mal angreifen. Aber ich glaube, ich gehe lieber auf äh, den hier. Einen von denen. Die halten so schön wenig aus. Jetzt können wir mal bei Veronica auch die anderen Farben mal nutzen. Wir haben ja zum Beispiel noch Blau und Farblos noch gar nicht besporen. Haben wir mal Farblos. It is time to honor your contract. Oh, ich habe Emblem Mikaya bekommen. Da habe ich ja mal Luck. Und überreiten. Und tschüss. So, wütender Sturm. Ich hau ich über den Haufen und der nächstbeste kriegt den Hauskombo ab. Ich will einen Sturm, da habe ich nämlich nochmal. Brennen Sie brech und ich stecke euch im Brand. Tschüss nicht. Böse. Ich weiß schon mal, ob ich Louis gerade den Lockvogel gegeben habe. Ein, weil es dort auch gefährlich ist für Nell. Lass doch mal die arme Framme in Ruhe. Naja, schade, nicht drauf gegangen. Daneben. Danke. Das war eine Bitte, kein Befehl. Der ist tot. Deswegen rüste ich immer die Meisterlanze aus. Was? Was? We better attack them all before everyone's actions are finished. Okay, wir müssen alle gleichzeitig zerstören. Das unterstützt das, dass ich mich aufteilen muss. I'm still quite capable. I challenge my fate. Have at you. Sorry about this. <lacht> So viel Schaden. Ich hätte ihn auch normal töten können. Aber hey, so gibt es keine Gegenwehr. So, im Leben Mikaya. Angriff. Für Glück muss man eigentlich haben, um im Leben dabei zu bekommen. So, jetzt machen wir mal was Schönes. Eisatem. Da könnt ihr euch nicht bewegen. <lacht> Und das trifft zum Glück auch die, die dahinter stehen. So, als nächstes dich. Aua. 
So, ich habe einen wunderschönen Lanzenmeister. Ein, das einzige Schwert, das gegen Lanzen effektiv ist. Excalibur. So, ich habe Offscreen Nova mal ein bisschen hochgeboostet. Zumindest so um drei. Das macht jetzt ein bisschen mehr Schaden. So, die Maislanze funktioniert ja bei dir, ne? Ja, vor allem das funktioniert. Das wird eine sehr kurze Schlacht. Danke für das weitere Elixier. Und noch ein Magier weg. Ich habe wirklich das Gefühl, dass die Schlacht sehr, sehr kurz wird. Tikis Fähigkeit, jemanden extra Leben zu geben, ist eigentlich auch mega fies. Vor allem, wenn man das auf einen General nutzt. Da geht ja keine Chance, den irgendwie loszuwerden. Is it time, Robin? Definitely. Let's move on to the next phase of the plan. The area is flooded. Is there a plan to block our progress? Fies? Das macht es zehnmal schwerer. Außer für die fliegenden Einheiten natürlich. So, Mikael hält mal die hier unten ein bisschen auf. So, ich helfe ihm auf der einen Seite, dass die ein bisschen besser durchkommen. Wille Glanz habe ich auch mal ein bisschen aufgebessert. So, ich habe jetzt mal Kontrakt benutzt. Ist das äh, in, jetzt wirklich sinnvoll? Ah, ich kann mich da nicht bewegen, okay. Kontrakt ist ja richtig kacke. Aber hey, zumindest das hier wird jetzt was bringen. Ewige Klau, hohe Crit-Chance. Und ich mache Zusammenkunft, da ich näher an den Kristall komme. Oh, ich habe die Landkugel. Emblem Mekaya lasse ich mal hier unten die ein bisschen schon aufhalten. Ist ja auch nicht schlimm, wenn sie drauf geht. So, mit dem Gewitter kann ich ja hier noch helfen. Oder zumindest versuchen. Anima Focus. Was genau machen die da oben? Ich hätte eventuell den Tomahawk ausrüsten sollen. Das Gute ist, die treffen offenbar auch nicht, Mikaya. Mikaya ist gut im Ausweichen. Hab nichts gesagt. Der hat Stärkung. Plan B oder Phase B. Ja, egal. Machen wir die Kristalle jetzt hinüber. Nummer 1. Nummer 2. Nummer 3. Excellent. We destroyed all the crystals. The barriers down. Hurry, let's advance on the emblems. Binding blade. Now the true battle begins. So, ich habe mich jetzt hauptsächlich darauf konzentriert, mich hier hoch zu bewegen. Darin kann irgendwie die äh, Leute ein bisschen boosten. Ja. 
Wie komme ich an so einen Drecksmeteor dran? Ich habe keinen äh, Verbesserungsweg gesehen, der dahin führt. Mädelein muss ich heilen. Gut, dass ich ein Elixier bekam. Schade, ich habe extra das Binding Blade ausgerüstet, weil es äh, zwei Felder weit angreifen kann. Das Gute ist, das Wasser hält die auch auf. Och nö, ich sehe Wolfe. Können die hier auch diese nervige Fähigkeit? Ja. So, erst Meteor Heini mal wegpusten. Teleport, Ragnar. So, der beschützt nicht mehr. Die muss ich als erstes ausschalten. Die beschützen gerade alle. So, dich puste ich auch mal direkt weg. Erstmal die Verteidiger weg. Wie ist mein Speer? Das Gute ist, die bewegen sich hier nicht. Kann ich mit dem Silberbogen angreifen. So, mit Toren greife ich den mit dem Silberbogen an. Ja, ich treffe nicht. Verdammt. Ich nehme jetzt extra nicht die Crit-Waffe. Haben die ein Gespräch, weil ich im Leben nur Zina dabei habe. Die haben tatsächlich ein Gespräch. We've got a lot of catching up to do, but let's save it until after the battle. Of course. It has been a long time since we sparred. Let's both try not to break anything. Ja gut, ne? Ich mach dich einfach mit dem Binding Blade kaputt. Ich stehe hier auf meinem Ausweichfeld. Aua. Robin, you came along with Father, I see. That's right. I never left Krom's side. I feel a bit self-conscious fighting my father's other half, but I will do the best I can. I understand how you feel, but don't hold anything back. Bitte triff nicht. Danke. hätte fies ausgehen können. Daneben. Now the true battle begins. Ja, eben böse. Oh, der hat mich ins Wasser reingeprügelt. Erstmal Bündnis hier. Das kann ja hier so nicht weitergehen. Einmal den wütenden Sturm hier auf dich. I can tell by your form that you're no stranger to battle. You know what you're doing. I've learned a lot along the way, but I still have a goal to achieve. You've got as much determination as Robin does. I can see it in your eyes. Now, let's get started. I'm ready when you are. Im Übrigen, auch wenn das jetzt mit den Gesprächen da ist, ne? Ich werde das nicht nachholen. 
bei den vorherigen Kämpfen. Also ich werde jetzt nicht bei Tiki zum Beispiel nochmal mit Marv dahin rennen und so weiter. Das wäre mir zu viel Zeitaufwand. So, Nova. Ich habe vier Chancen. Ich muss nur zweimal treffen. Oder ich mache einen Crit. Ein Crit funktioniert natürlich auch immer. So, ich mache darin schon mal ein bisschen Schaden. Auf die ich mache ich mal die Hauskombo. Rom ist schon mal down. Alright. Dich verkloppe ich auch noch eben kurz. Und die habe ich die Nase voll. So, mit Echo. Hier einmal. Allow me. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. Und dann schieße ich den anderen direkt auch über den Haufen. Also ich nehme ihn ein Leben. Oder auch nicht, weil ich nicht treffe. Jetzt nehme ich die safen Leben. So, und jetzt greife ich an. Ich tue mich schon mal aus dem Bild. Ich äh, nicht den jetzt. Angriff mit doppelter Waffenkraft. Das wird so wehtun. I'm curious to see what you got. Show me the leader we're joining forces with. Happy to, Emblem Robin. Our strategies may not impress a tactician like you, but the bonds among my allies are strong. I think Krom was right. You do seem worthy of our trust. May I assist? <laughs> you figured out my plan? Das ging relativ schnell. Well, I think that settles it. I've got my answer. How about you, Krom? Yes, indeed. We saw a tremendous display of strength and resolve. You are both bold in your actions and sincere in your beliefs. I'm impressed. So, you'll join us? Sorry for the trouble, but I wanted to be sure. Yes, we'll help you. Let's join forces and usher this world toward an era of peace. Thank you, Emblem Krom, Emblem Robin. With you on our side, I've got more hope for our world than ever. Hope, yes. That's the key to your peaceful world right there. And it's up to us to spread that hope so the world doesn't fall to despair. I think it's very important to breathe life into that goal by speaking it aloud. Well said. If our goal is to bring hope to the world, we can't be half-hearted about it. There have been times in my life when I've been close to despair. In those moments, it was only thanks to Robin and our friends that I didn't give up. Even when I was destined to die, we conquered fate by trusting and inspiring each other. That's right. And so long as you hold on to hope, you'll be capable of the same. I understand. I'll take those words to heart. That's the spirit. We look forward to joining you in the battles to come. Robin, it's been too long. Lucina, I'm so happy to see you again. You look well. And you've become an emblem just like us. Incredible. Krom does almost nothing but worry about you. It's a little tiresome, if I'm honest. We weren't going to discuss that in front of her. You really worry that much? <sighs> of course I do. I'm your father. But now that we're together again, I can finally rest easy. 
It does feel as if a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Now we can fight side by side again, like we did in Elise. Nothing would make me happier. Together, we'll make this world a better place. Together. Okay, wir haben Emblem Krom und Darien bekommen. Emblem Krom und Emblem Darien setzen Gegner gemeinsam mit Schwert- und Magieangriffen sowie besonderen Kampfstrategien zu. Die Synchrofähigkeit Überraschungsangriffe verhindert Gegenangriffe, falls sie auf Gelände mit Boni für Ausweichen ausgeführt wird. Okay. Die Bündniswaffe Donnerschwert kann aus der Ferne Gegner mit Magie Schaden zufügen. Die Bündnisfähigkeit anderer Hälfte ruft Darien herbei, der in dem Magiewert... Äh, erhöht und an Korbschlägen teilnimmt. Der Bündnisangriff Giga Donnerschwert ist ein magischer Hieb, der Gegner mit niedriger Resistenz hohen Schaden zufügt. Also generelle One-Hit. Okay, ihr beide habt mir doch bestimmt noch was zu erzählen. That's fantastic. Das freut nice mich. Na gut, ich sammle jetzt noch eben kurz das Zeug hier ein und dann äh, gucken wir uns im äh, Somni gleich noch an, was die äh, zum einen bei der Gravur und von den Fähigkeiten können. So, hier sind wir im Somni. Dann gucken wir uns zuallererst die Gravuren an. Von so mhm. muss ich die euch übrigens auch zeigen. Die habe ich mir schon angeguckt. Die ist nicht so geil, aber ja. Also von so das macht den Angriff für, aber das Ausweichen wird beschissen. So, Bande. Oh, Bande ist ja nur gut. Kraft geht um eins höher, Gewicht sinkt, Ausweichen und kritisches Ausweichen um 20 erhöht. Das ist ja richtig gut. Jetzt muss ich auf eine Waffe draufpacken, die generell äh, scheiß mit dem Ausweichen ist. So, Emblem Chrom. Das ist eigentlich richtig gut. Ich finde es gut, dass die alle fast nur diese Wachtfähigkeiten haben. Hui, das ist ja richtig krass. Moment mal, die Crits werden noch gewaltiger. Sieht die nicht bei mir eh schon OP ohne Ende? Naja, das finde ich jetzt nicht so unbedingt praktisch. Das ist mega OP. Das ist wahrscheinlich eine aktive Fähigkeit, die man nutzt, aber das ist trotzdem mega OP. Ja, Geschwindigkeit und Behendigkeit äh, und halt äh, Schwertschaden um 5 runter. Ja, 5 von den äh, Armringen habe ich schon gesammelt. 2 sind noch übrig. Nur noch Emblem Camilla und Emblem Hector. Und ich vermute äh, nach wie vor, Hector ist der Berserker und das andere ist Camilla. Und danach sind wir mit dem Spiel fertig. Ich werde mir gucken, dass ich äh, bei Hector natürlich versuche, mit Linda anzugreifen. Eventuell sogar mit Roy. Weil, ihr, vielleicht wisst ihr es nicht, Roy ist Lins äh, Sohn. Also, die sind verwandt. Und demnach könnte er ja auch was mit Hector zu tun haben. Und ja, bei Camilla muss ich halt einfach nur versuchen, Corrin äh, mitzunehmen, äh, ne? Und Corin ist ja eigentlich immer richtig stark in der Truppe. Naja, auf jeden Fall. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet alle Spaß beim Zusehen. Wenn ja, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da. Und wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ciao und bis dann.